Assalamu alaikum my dear student. Try to guess the topic. Let's read. Two matchless hearts that have always loved you. They did well and showed mercy to you. The other source of your existence, who are they? Our topic today is honoring the parents. Our objectives are why is it important to respect and honor the parents? Know what is the reward of honoring the parents. Conclude that obeying parents is a type of worship. Express in own words how to honor your parents. This, did you see that pictures class? There is a boy and small birds. So, this little creature creatures needs the necessary care and attention to grow up. Who takes care of them? Can you answer? Yes. Parents, your moms, and dad. What would happen if these creatures did not find enough care? What will happen to them? No one would take proper care and love them. Okay, let's read this. I will read in Arabic, then the English. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا so, the meaning of that is, And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him, and to parents do treatment. Means, Allah ordered us to worship Him and treat the parents well. So, if your parents want you to do something, you must obey them. You should help them if they need your help. So what does Allah glory be to him command us to do to do in the previous verse? Allah has ordered us to worship him only and treat good to our parents because if our parents are happy we will gain Allah's pleasure and if our parents are sad Allah will be angry. So it is important to respect and honor the parents because Allah order us to treat them good and it is an act of worship so let's us watch the video the kids TV in today's lesson we will be going over some things our parents do for us every single day Let's look at some things they do for us. When we were young, our parents took really good care of us. They fed and cleaned us. They made sure we were safe at all times. They even rocked us to bed so we could go to sleep. Our parents always cook for us. They always make sure our stomachs are full before we go to bed and before we go to school. They always make amazing meals just to make sure that we are never hungry. Our parents always clean after us. They always love to make sure we have a nice, cozy, clean home and some nice, clean clothes for us to wear. Our parents always get the best clothes for us so we can look good in front of others. Our parents make sure we get to school so we can get the education that we need to have a good future. When we're sick, our parents always take us to the doctor because our parents love us to be at the best of our health. Our parents always love to make sure we have the best of fun at home and outside. So what should we do for our parents? One of the most important things we can do for our parents is pray for them. Here is one of the prayers the Prophet Muhammad taught us. 
ربرحمهما كما ربياني صغيرة ربرحمهما كما ربياني صغيرة which means in English my lord have mercy upon them as they brought me up the second thing we should do for our parents is to be good to them being good to our parents means not hurting them with our actions or words it is possible that sometimes we do not agree with our parents and do not want to hear their advice sometimes we think we know better than our parents and they do not understand us no matter what we think The Quran reminds us that we should not be harsh to our parents and we should always respect them. What is the reward of those who honor their parents? What is the punishment of those who do not honor their parents? Let us find out from this hadith. Abdullah ibn Amr reported, The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The pleasure of the Lord is is in the pleasure of the parents and the displeasure of the lord is in the displeasure of the parents what does it mean in this hadith we learn that if you make your parents angry allah will be angry if you make your parents happy allah will be happy So, did you see the picture on the left? What are the children doing? They are helping their parents. So, does this make Allah happy or angry? Of course, happy. So, therefore, if we respect and treat our parents well, we will earn Allah's pleasure as a reward. But, The punishment of those who do not honor their parents will lead to Allah's anger. So, okay, let's summarize what we learn. Meaning, okay, obeying parents and showing what? Showing care and respect for them. Doing good to them by helping them and fulfilling their what fulfilling their needs humbleness lang and treating them gently can you answer we will answer humbleness towards them and treating them gently all the time lowering what When talking to them, what is the answer? Of course, lowering your voice when talking to them. Using the sweetest and most beautiful words when what? With them, what? What is the answer? Yes, when talking with them. Treating them kindly when they are in the stage of what? Stage of? old age praying for their what and what praying for their health and for Allah to bring mercy upon them so let's continue this excellence it is a reason for entering paradise It is one of the most beloved of deeds, uh, of deeds to Allah. In the pleasure happiness of the parents lies the pleasure of Allah. Thank you. Shukran.